Hi guys, I'm Nitish. Hey guys, I'm Amol. And we're from Bangalore, India. It, it's it's a great honor again. Thank you for selecting our film. Amol and I, we were both very particular that you know we wanted to do the film in Kannada language. Uh, the reason being, obviously, we're from Bangalore. You know, we're Kannadiga, so we felt, and also over the last five years or so, you know, we've had some really good content coming out in the Kannada industry. So we felt, you know, it's a great sort of space to make our own path and you know uh, contribute to this whole uh, Kannada film industry. We had a set budget in mind because uh, this whole project was self-funded, like Amo, me, and another friend who was kind enough to sort of pitch into this project. Uh, we pulled in the money and based on the amount of money that we had we sort of worked on the idea itself right and also at no point we wanted to sort of compromise on the production quality itself so if you do check out our film uh, you will see you know it's the production quality is almost as good as any OTT uh, content that you would come across today so that was we were very particular about that and based on that we also sort of figured out what is something that could be easily executed right so we sort of built a, a studio for that as we built a set and then uh, the idea also sort of came about you know because thrillers is something that we both of us uh, as a genre that we like a lot we watch a lot of thriller films and we want to do something in that space so and especially in Canada film industry we don't have a lot of thriller films uh, per se so we felt you know it's a good idea to sort of you know work with something along those lines and yeah that's how this whole idea came about so uh, like for any filmmaker for that matter like when i think the primary uh, concern or like the roadblock that he or she faces would be uh, any kind of any form of financial aid uh, again here everything came through like a bootstrap thing so we gave most of our savings on like we spent a lot of our savings on this and uh, even a, a friend of ours decided like I think he kind of believed in us that okay we have a good story with us and he kind of believed in us that we we, we are we are capable of pulling out a really nice film so when he started investing in the film the primary thing primary roadblock was uh, you know the financial aid bit cool tell us about managing human and financial resources for this film production I think we told this ah, same thing anyway we'll just repeat it and we'll cut it off uh, tell us about managing human and we had a set budget which was 4 lakhs right that that's exactly what uh, we had sort of saved up from our savings and so we had to sort of work backwards in terms of you know uh, making sure the talent we didn't want to compromise on the talent right so uh, we got the best of talent to sort of work with us but 70% of the crew that worked on the film itself uh, did it pro bono right it was pretty much all our friends who were, who were sort of helping us with this project uh, right from the DOPs to some of the production crews to editors to the illustration artists to the music and the style and makeup all of them were all friends who sort of helped us with it so that sort of worked well for us uh, but otherwise we were again as mentioned before right like we want to make sure that the production quality remains top notch so all of the money that we had sort of allocated went into ensuring you know we get the best output right right from building a good set that we had in mind to getting the best equipment and uh, even in terms of the sound design and all all of those uh, production aspects you know we just want to ensure that there's no compromise on that so uh, right on the day of the shoot we had one major hitch of sorts because we decided to go with sing sound and bangalore being a very unpredictable place when it comes to weather it started raining and uh, since we are shooting it in a studio studio i mean it had a asbestos sheet ka roof so you could hear all the pitter patter of the roof during the entire shoot so we had to resort to dubbing after that amog and i had sort of planned out the movie very clearly right right from uh, the actors to the grading of the film to the music and how it all was going to sound, how the set was going to look. We had, you know, plenty of references and everything sort of pr pretty much it turned out the way that we wanted it to. The entire thing of making a film in Canada was because of the fact that there are like a lot of new movies, the new Canada wave as they call it, have been giving us some really good content and probably this is one of the places where we also could contribute a lot in terms of like content because we keep writing a lot of Kannada content. We can, we can mention like a bunch of 
highlights one being Avinash sir who's a veteran like a legendary actor from from the Kannada industry the other one being Rangnath Ravi again like he's a legend on his own because he's made his design sound for movies like Jali Kattu Chiruli and a lot of other famous Malayalam films we wanted to ensure that you know the film gets maximum amount of uh, attention and uh, views through the film festivals and once we get you know enough sort of credibility through you know being part of the film festivals uh, then we want to sort of focus on distribution aspect of itself right while our aim was to sort of you know put it across to you know sort of uh, ott platforms uh, we are still quite clueless as to <laughs> how, do we how do we do this so which is why we are hoping through this film festival we will meet some uh, interesting people who can sort of help us in that direction this movie has great production quality and the actors are just phenomenal and apart from that amazing sound design amazing music everything's kind of, kind of like come through together as a very nice product of sorts so again if you like you know thrillers this is the movie for you like we're really looking forward to the event itself so see you guys Yep. on the 12th june yeah thank you thanks bye